How's it going? Welcome back to Mana Lords. We've got no food, we've got no money, so I really want to sort it out today, and I swear to God, we will sort it out. So first of all, we're going to sort out the money situation. We're going to do that via trade. We're going to start exporting some goods, which uh, is going to give us a bit of money, so we can start making farms and other good stuff, which is going to give us food. However, we are importing meat, so I do want to not do that because it's expensive. Uh, so going to not import meat and we are actually going to export stone we've got quite a, uh, a good surplus of that so we'll export all of it it's one coin per rock i guess <laughs> so uh, that will help us build up slowly and i eventually want to do roof tiles i'm just going to put it on three times speed or whatever that is 12 times speed oh wow it's fast um so yeah we eventually want to export roof tiles but we need a trade route for that which is 96 coins that's a lot of coins so uh, we're gonna have to wait for that to build up a bit however i'm hoping that's going to be fairly quickly in terms of food i am going to actually turn this into like i don't know a chicken street or something like so we're going to make uh, chicken coops all along here that's going to give us a nice lot of eggs and i do want to expand get a few more families in so we can do vegetable gardens so that's what i'm going to do now actually so i'm just going to set out a few roads to start with so i'm going to bring this one down here and connect it up over here oh that guy's claiming the other region i tell you what that guy is going on an absolute rampage cla claiming regions all over the place it's lucky that we claimed the new territory uh when we did and i do need to get that set up asap because that's going to have a clay deposit a wild animal animal hunting grounds deposit and an iron deposit we need all three of those to build up our armies uh, so that is the plan later <laughs> and by later I mean maybe next episode uh, but for now I need to sort out our food issue here and the money issue so let's uh, get some new families in and I want to do quite a few actually saying that I'm going to start off with these over here so we can expand these three to have an extra plot so that's three more families we can accommodate which is absolutely fantastic uh, let's get a burgage plot as well i want to fill this whole thing in so we can have one massive vegetable garden and i'm wondering if this is going to work i mean these plots are very flexible yeah look at that so that works for me so we've got a nice big old workshop area so we can make that into a vegetable patch and it had two uh two plots for uh, people to come and live on so that was good oh i would like to do ale as well get the tavern up and running if possible uh, but actually i want to try and just expand living spaces i think i said this last episode i need to focus on expanding living spaces instead of building new plots uh, so i'm just going to go around just double check that we've got everything covered here yeah i think I think it was just these three and maybe this one which we we could expand so that's all good yeah all of these ones here are pretty small so we won't worry about that um in terms of more food actually i do need to do a couple more fields uh we are you know what i'm gonna do like a redesign of this over here i think so i want to move the farmhouse over i could probably get rid of this field here or turn it into pasture because the, the wheat there's no I don't think there's any like point to having like uh, wheat over here right now because it's not fertile ground so I, I reckon maybe we do a couple more fields this one I would you know what I'd really like to redesign this one and take into account taking into account the paths saying that uh, yeah let's um let's sort the path out uh right now so yeah we'll just bring it we'll bring it down here i feel like this would follow the tree line over to this crossroads here or maybe even actually yeah we'll put it there you know what this did i i think i made that didn't i yeah, yeah, you know what? We're gonna re we're gonna redo this path here that we did last episode because I don't like it. Uh, but I'll do that at a later <laughs> a later date. Oh, we've got the uh, hundred coin that we needed, so we can actually make that trade route. 
So let's do that. 96 to establish a trade route there. We'll export all of those tiles. Like, I don't think we need tiles at the moment. We do. Well, we do because we want to upgrade to level three plots and you do need tiles for that. However, you do need also food and, and more clothing. So uh, we'll worry about that later. Uh, so, yeah, I want to, like I said, I want to move the farmhouse over here. And then build farms around it. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, maybe, a, maybe a little bit of a waste, but it is what it is. And the farmhouse. Let's demolish that as well. And yeah, we'll do like a proper farming area over here. I know it's not the most fertile ground, but it's the it's the best we can do, right? And I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping if we do a lot of fields, we can compensate. Um, we can compensate for the lack of fertility. So, actually, saying that the fertility is not too bad. All down there. So, let's put the farmhouse. We want that kind of on, like a. A less fertile ground right maybe on here no no, no I don't like that <laughs> maybe here yeah we'll put it there and then that can sp actually yeah, yeah we'll we'll leave that it, m it may change later it may change in terms of field sizes I do want oh no that's a pasture Field. That's what I. That's what I need. I nearly did a pasture, so I got no, got no things to put out the pasture yet. Uh, but yeah, in terms of sizes, I want to keep it down to like one Morgan. Now, someone in the comments told me what a Morgan was, and I, it was really cool. So <laughs> I say really cool, and I, I commented on the the. I replied to the comment, and I feel like it was a weird comment saying um. <laughs> saying that I love like unique units of measurement which I do I love like weird units of measurement but anyway a Morgan is how much filled a ox can plow in one morning so the more you know so all good we're gonna do loads oh, I say loads we're gonna do we're gonna do four I know one of them is a lot bigger than I said it would be but that will do we've got an ox haven't we and it looks really cool uh, but we're just gonna do wheat wheat we're gonna do wheat <laughs> and we're gonna do barley as well so like I said I want to get the um, I want to get the uh, tavern up and running and I think you need a lot of barley and a lot of ale in terms of crop rotation I'll do barley wheat and then fallow and I think I'll do on this one I'll do fallow and then barley and then I'll do barley and fallow and then I'll do uh, let's do wheat and then fallow okay i thought i was like the the guy that guy of fish and a rice cake at 12 o'clock i'll have fish at two o'clock i'll have fish and a rice cake that guy he's like ripped now and he's like got so many muscles anyway that should be all good there we are again getting more money coming in which is good 119 regional wealth so that's looking absolutely fantastic saying that what will help out is a new horse uh, so I'm actually gonna do a new trading horse what do you call it a trading horse no it's called a stable <laughs> a hitching post that's what I was that's what I was looking for a hitching post so we'll put that can, will that fit there oh it will do look at that that fits right next to our other small stable so I kind of like that there and I would like to expand the marketplace into this area here. Or, yeah, yeah, I think the marketplace expanding into this area here would be would be very cool. Uh, but yeah, horses, 
um, they will allow us to move more stock or trade more stock. So we should get a nice old lump sum of cash when that comes in. I'm going to put it on highest priority just so we can order that horse. But the thing is, if we don't have that hitching post built, the horse could run away. We don't want that. So, ah, oh, there we go. Nice 160. 160 cashola just, just went in the bank. So all good. This will allow us to now make our chicken road. Or what do we call it? Chicken, chicken street. Uh, so yeah, these cost 25 coin per chicken coop. So we're just going to do all of these. We could even trade these, I guess. But yeah, every single one of those making a making a chicken. I say making a chicken. <laughs> Not making a chicken, they're looking after chickens. This one will expand the living area as well because I want some more families. We've got six unassigned, uh, unassigned families, which is really good. Uh, so that will actually allow us to, you know, put some more over here. The saw pit... We don't have a, like a lot of planks, and I think the saw pit efficiency is pretty bad. Uh, so we'll we'll put that there. There's a few other things as well. Storehouse, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I could put another family on here, and I think they tend to the goods inside or something and make it more efficient. Don't quote me on that, but not not 100 percent sure. Oh, I did want to do a couple more plots of land where we can do vegetable gardens. That's what I wanted to do as well. So we will actually go ahead and do that right now. Oh, people are hungry. Yep, that's that's to be expected. We've got no food, so you got to deal with it. <laughs> you got to deal with it. I do actually want to see what other things we can build as well and what, and what things we would need. So weaver's shop, we do need flax for that, a dyer's workshop. A bloomery we've got smithy so i don't know what you use tools for now that might be a silly question or a silly answer or a silly thing to say but i don't know what you use them for so if you know comment comment down below <laughs> right we've got the tannery weavers workshop we don't need a malt house okay malt house so this is going to be making the barley into malt and then the malt will go into uh into ale won't it so we've got the tavern here what i would like to do you know is actually change the communal oven to uh to get and get some like artisanal bakeries uh because these actually produce more bread or twice the efficiency of the communal oven so i'd like to get rid of that when we can and put the malt house there. I think that would be pretty good. But um, we may have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, while we're at it, we'll change this into a vegetable garden. Look at that, beautiful. The whole thing's a vegetable garden. But yeah, with those with those um, sort of fields and stuff, the bigger you have the work plot at the back of the house, the more vegetables it produces. So that's all good for me. Um, I am gonna continue this road and put that there and I maybe can fit a couple more houses in there so let's give that a go like I said last episode I didn't really want anything on the on the King's Road because that's like the main thoroughfare and I don't want people coming into the into the settlement unnecessarily you know if they want to come in they have to actually make a conscious effort to come in uh, so, yeah, let's get a couple of these plots in. Uh, what way do I want to face it? Face it this way, see if this works. What does this give us? That could be good. So that gives us one, two, three, and a little workshop. Yeah, I'll do that. I hope, <laughs> I really hope this uh, ex expansion doesn't come back to bite us, <laughs> you know. I really hope um, I really hope we can we can get the food sorted and everything, which I think we will be able to uh, will be able to do. I'm thinking we we need to put um, more people to use, right? Woodcutters Lodge, that makes 
firewood, doesn't it? So we could do that. Oh, I could also order another ox. Yeah, I'm going to order another ox. And I do need to upgrade that into a small stable. So that's going to really help us with moving people around. I think this has got two oxes. So if I put another family in there, that should make the oxes more efficient. I'm just speculating here. I may be talking absolute rubbish. And then this one as well, we'll do that. So essentially logs will be moved around to places more efficiently. That's what I'm hoping. So that's all good. I'm maybe, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna say I'm considering putting another saw pit down and I think I will do that wherever it may be. There you go. So yeah, let's get that into our little like wood wood area in fact yeah we'll put it we'll put it next to the one that we've already got up and running I'm not too worried about it destroying some trees in the process could have a little path through the trees I guess actually no I'll leave it like that cool yeah more families are moving in we have got lack of approval and I think that's just yeah that's just food isn't it so I'm hoping once we've got like the wheat fields up and running and we've got uh, the vegetable plots, got the eggs, you've got, you got chicken street coming to life, then we should be all good. This one over here, um, I'm not going to expand the living space, but I do want to do another thing. Maybe another chicken coop. Yeah, we'll do another chicken coop. This one, we cannot, cannot do anything. Oh. Yep, we're hungry. We do know that. Everyone's hungry. People require food or they may starve. Um, yeah, don't worry. We're working it. <laughs> we're working on it. Don't worry. So all I'm doing, that's all I'm doing at the moment, is working on, on food. So like I said, I do want to expand the... Uh, expand the marketplace. And because we've got more cash... We could actually look to doing a bit more trade of some of these other things. We could get some of these in. Uh, saying that, I do need to actually sort out my taxes. So the thing with this is we've got two uh, currencies, I guess. So you've got regional wealth and you've got the treasury. The treasury is my money, right? You don't like don't talk to about don't talk to me about my money. But <laughs> we need that money. To settle into new regions and also our army is not great so we're going to use it to actually buy mercenaries when we need to so we may get taxed uh, we may get attacked but taxes are going to help us out <laughs> so they're going to be unhappy about me putting it up to 20 percent but once we hire the mercenaries they're going to be safe so they won't die so they'll be happy that's uh that's the logic there so <laughs> In terms of this, I did actually want to do a little bit of work on the manor because I just realized it's just boring here, isn't it? So um, I'm going to set up a little bit of a wall around here. I'm not going to worry about it being like super, uh, like super neat or anything because I feel like you'd have to have like a lot of skilled labor to do it. And we don't have... We don't have skilled labor at the moment, uh, but, oh, I don't like that though. Okay, that looks, that looks good to me. Oh, saying that, look at that. <laughs> look at that, there's a big old gap there, hang on. How do I stop that? No, I need to, I need to do that again, don't I? Uh, remove wall point. There we go. Okay, let's try that again around this way. nice do a little bit more of a curve yeah cool and you get a nice little uh, gate as well in there and then i do want to do a garrison tower so i'll put that right next to it uh let's put that there and i need to commit it but i don't have enough planks i've got everything else but i don't have enough planks so We'll just close it out for now. When we when we get enough planks, we can commit to, to doing that. But 
yeah that's pretty cool i don't know if this levels up or anything or allows you to build more more things i know there's a couple of things like barracks and and all of that so it'll be interesting to see what we can do with the castle planner and i'm guessing like you can make big old castles that you can like put into like into siege and stuff i say put into siege that makes no sense like when you go into siege that's like you stop goods and people from go like entering the in entering a castle right that's a that's a tactic man i'm just talking a load of rubbish <laughs> so oh i need a plowing station oh i just realized right i haven't had any i haven't had any families on here to plow the fields okay don't worry we're gonna sort that out we've got five families they're gonna go straight into the farmhouse that's a schoolboy era there sorry everyone i've annoyed myself there so don't worry don't worry i've annoyed myself there we're wasting like precious time uh, being able to plow the fields and all that. Uh, I was going to buy a new ox, wasn't I? So that's. Oh no, hang on, did we? Did we do it already? I put a couple of people in there. Oh, I need a. I need more. I need more people, really, don't I? We did have one we can upgrade. I said I wasn't going to do this, but. I am, so we'll upgrade that. People in here, well, they should be they should be planting vegetables. They don't look like they're, they're doing anything, so we'll, uh, maybe they'll do that at some point. We'll keep an eye on it. Uh, people are getting less hungry, which is good. And I'm wondering if they've got, no, they haven't got eggs yet. I feel like this year is going to be the year of prosperity <laughs> so right this has been built let's get three families in there and this has got a plowing station hasn't it i'm going to permanently assign an ox to it just because i need it plowing that field like the whole time look you guys you cannot be plowing by hand it's going to take you 10 years it's going to take you 10 years to do this big old plot here Bring, bring the, bring, bring the uh, big guns in. There you go, the big old ox. Light work, <laughs> light work of that field there. Yeah, nice one. It looks much better like this, I think, instead of just having a like a random square over here. And it's the best of a bad situation, really. Um, I'm just thinking maybe we need more families in here because that is quite a big area to tend to. Plus we do have that and they should be half in, harvesting that soon. So yeah, we'll um just keep an eye on things here actually. You know what? There's I don't think there's any harm in um I don't think there's any harm in expanding a little bit further. It would right, I tell you what all would be good is if you saw like progress of how many eggs and stuff you're getting. So like it'll produce around like 10 eggs a year or something like that. That'd be really interesting to see uh, because you're kind of like setting it and forgetting about it, which is uh, not ideal. Okay, so there was one egg in there. Definitely saw one egg. And there's, yeah, the egg went over here. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. The, the eggs are working. But yeah, I think I think maybe just filling out the rest of, rest of this chicken street, all right? And then making them into chicken coops would be a would be a good shout. So let's let's do that. We'll continue all the way down there. That's a lot of houses in it. One, two, three, four, plus one, and some nice old big plots of land. We could do that. Could do a vegetable garden in the middle. Yeah, let's do let's do that. We'll do like Two vegetable gardens, or three, actually we'll do three vegetable gardens, one chicken coop, then I will fill in this over here. Is that going to give us two? It's going to give us one, but it's weird. Nope, let's try again. Uh, it doesn't like that corner for some reason. Right, no, don't like that, is it? <laughs> don't like that either. Oh god, what's happening to this road? Maybe I... Mod no, no, no. We're not going to modify the roads 
um, unless it's like we desperately have to. Um, that looks, yeah, we'll, we'll go for that, I think. Uh, but then where's that going to be too small? Yeah, that one, that one there is way too small. So I'm going to get rid of this, this one. We will try again. We may actually do something a little bit funky here. So we can go down this way, have the houses pointing towards the chicken coops, maybe. No, I don't think. Oh, hang on. I think one. I think it didn't work because we didn't have enough. Yeah, we didn't have enough goods. Okay, so we'll leave. We'll leave that area for now. We'll, we'll get these things built up here, and then we'll get vegetable gardens and chicken coops sorted. So now we have got no families. We've got no families to build. So um, we need to find a family from somewhere. We had, oh, this is the thing. I've been putting down buildings, but <laughs> putting down buildings, but not assigning, uh, not assigning anyone to them. Yeah, these these uh, plots over here should get built now. A couple more families would be very useful. This has been built, so yeah, let's make that into a, a vegetable farm, a nice big old one. This is really long and skinny vegetable farm <laughs> we'll, we'll go for vegetable farm again this one's veg uh, long and skinny I think that'll that'll be a vegetable farm as well like I like the idea of chicken street but it makes sense to break up like break up the thing break up the area I guess and then we've got this last one which I think that had a workshop at the at the back of it, so we'll keep an eye, keep an eye on that. So the regional wealth is going up pretty nicely, and the treasury is going up pretty nicely. And we've got a lot of treasury money actually, and our approval is down, so probably need to sort out taxation. Otherwise, no one is actually going to join us. Uh, so yeah, let's put that back down to ten. Do we have enough for this yet? No, we've <laughs> we've got even less. We've got even less, so we won't worry about that. Cool, let's check on our check on our fields. Ah oh, look, right, two of them have been planted, so that's good. This guy still ploughing, he's doing a good job, but I need to plant it. And then they've got like a month to grow it. Oh, this is not gonna it's not going to happen, but we've at least we've got these two here, right? That's that's the that's the the good thing. Oh, and we've got barley as well. So, oh, that was the other thing we needed, wasn't it? The malt house. But then we do need another level two plot, which I'm hoping we can get. This one would be perfect to make into like a a brewery. So. What do we need for a brewery? Five planks, five coins, and that produces ale from malt. So yeah, let's actually put a malt house down. And once our approval goes up, more families will move in. Should be good to uh, should be good to go. So I feel like we've been on the edge of like failing <laughs> like the whole time, but this is like the first time I felt kind of like we've got stuff in order, right? I said we we're gonna sort out food. Haven't done that just yet, but we have got some fields growing some good old wheat, so I think that will be sorted out. Where is this malt house? Okay, here it is. Where do I put it though? Maybe we put it over here. It's a weird place at the back here, isn't it? For the for the malt house. Could put it here. If it fits, no, it doesn't fit. It don't fit. I don't think it would. Ah, it fits in there, but that's the where the communal bakery is. Okay, I think the only other option is to put it. Let's just put it up here. Oh, we don't have enough wood. <laughs> At least we don't have enough wood now. Okay. 
logging camp. Okay. Right, what is going on? I, I, I said we might be okay now, but maybe we're not. <laughs> maybe we're not. The approval is still going down. Hmm. Just, just considering my options here. These guys are still... Oh, right, they're making... Okay, they're harvesting barley. So what would be very beneficial now is if we do actually have... <laughs> if we do actually have the malt house up and running. So timber... These guys are... Oh, something's getting exposed. Oh, it's these ones here. Okay, so it's just the wheat that they're harvesting. That's not... That's not an issue. So they did manage to, you know what? They managed to plant it and got a crop growth of 13%. Will that, I think that's it, right, though, for that? But that's a good old bunch of barley and wheat there that we've got. I could actually export the, the barley if we don't get enough planks in time. But that will be like that crop there, that harvest will be very good. So, uh, Get our food variety up a little bit so we're getting berries we'll have eggs and we'll have bread and we'll have vegetables as well it's a good old good old mix of stuff there i am gonna put another marketplace actually uh so marketplace yeah we'll put this in this area here we'll just fill out we'll just fill out the whole thing i think 13 stalls available that's good good for me room for expansion see fuels looking good food right like i said that sh that should be sorted out it should be sorted out soon but we shall see the windmill that has got nothing because we need to yeah we need to start what is it what do you call it threshing I want a higher priority thresh on that, so they should. Uh, they should go and do that. And you know what I could do? I could limit their work area just to these fields. Because I, you know what? Yeah, let's some. Let's do that. I'm going to limit the work area to just these fields over here because I don't really want them. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this one. I could make it into a pasture. Yeah, you know what? Let's do fallow. Like, just leave that as fallow. I'll fence it up when I can, and we can use it for a pasture when we start with animals and and stuff like that. So, I think that's a good uh, a good plan there. We do have approval going up, which is absolutely. I say it's going up. It's going down. So, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh it's still hungry. I thought we had that sorted, but. We don't. I'm a little bit concerned, right? That this hasn't <laughs> this hasn't been planted. There's no one in there's no one living in it, that's why. Okay. Okay, interesting. There's no one living in it. And <laughs> is that, I get I guess there's gonna be no yeah, there's no one living in these either. Okay, so we're relying on chickens. That's why nothing's getting planted and our hunger's not going down. Because <laughs> we need to get our... Right, we need to get our approval up. And I think the only way we're going to do that now is just get rid of the taxes. We've got quite a bit of money in the treasury, which is good. Um, so, yeah. Uh, just let's have a look over here. Because I just had a thought. This... I had a thought because I saw we had, like, some clay... But this clay pit is now um, empty. So I'm actually going to take the family off there. Because that is useless now. I'm not going to demolish it. Because I feel like... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A fire broke out. I was going to say... Oh, I was gonna say, oh no. Okay, come on. This is a disaster. This is an absolute disaster. Also, I get a cheeky thumbnail here. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Okay. Run, run, run. The well. Look, they're. 
they're doing their best, aren't they? Don't get on fire, though. Jeez. Okay, as long as it doesn't spread, that's... Okay. <laughs> as long as it doesn't spread. Just as it spreads. Oh, God. All right. As long as it doesn't hit Chicken Street, okay? You guys, look, they're running to the well. Everyone's hands on deck. This is awesome. But, yeah, they're going to the well. Legging it over here. And, uh putting the fire out how did that fire actually start i am very confused okay right 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 this is awesome because it didn't hit chicken street and no one died no one were living in these in these houses which were good so we shall we shall rebuild <laughs> we really uh, we will rebuild and uh, just don't worry about it it's fine but yeah, I think as soon as we get as soon as we get that approval above 50% more people will move in and then we'll start to see things really progress which will which will be good. So December, let's have a quick look at the windmill. So that is making flour. That is not doing anything. Just want to check over here. So they are making grain, which is good. We do have a couple of barleys as well. This wheat field didn't get harvested, but maybe we can harvest it now. I'm going to see if I can harvest it now in the middle of winter. But needs must. You do what, do what you got to do, innit? I am very happy about the trade situation, though, which is good. But yeah, look. Ah, oh, look. Here we go. Look. So bread is going up, eggs is now going up a little bit, meat went up. A vegetable did I see vegetables? I don't I don't think I saw vegetables. This hunting camp, it's still what, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that down to two. And that should give us a little bit more food. Approval is still going up. It's forty seven percent. Come on, a little bit higher, a little bit higher, and we should be good to go. Need to get that malt house, which I can do now. Got enough timber for it. Wherever that is. So, yeah, we'll put that up here. We are going to, like, expand. Well, we were going to expand over this way, weren't we? So, n I'm not thrilled about the malt house being there, but it has to be there for now because we're, we're not going to do anything otherwise. <laughs> Not gonna do anything. Oh, the approval's gone down. Oh god. And I'm wondering if that is literally just because we've got winter on and we've got like no firewood or something. No, we've got enough fuel. It's just the food. It's just the food. Maybe the malt house will help these guys out. I'm gonna put it on highest priority get that built ASAP we'll get a family in there making the making the malt and then oh, we do need to upgrade the house don't we we need the two types of food for that oh it's a catch-22 if I've ever seen one I reckon as soon as that goes up a little bit more saying that, how much wheat did we actually actually get I feel like we should have got a lot more wheat than we did from from that harvest. Hmm, a little bit confused there. Maybe it's in the granary. Oh look, the, yeah, the the flowers in the granary. That needs to go over to here. There isn't a stall just selling flowers, is there? <laughs> because that would be weird. I need to know. I need to know. Food stall. Nah, there's nothing. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Okay. Very strange, but. Okay, this is slowly making bread. Like it slowly is making bread.
Is it? Are they literally just transporting one lump of flour every time? Is that what they're doing? Because that is like, to me, that's very inefficient. <laughs> I just have, a, have a, an image of them taking like, like a pinch of flour out of the granary and taking it over. Upgrade to a large granary. We will. We don't have enough. Don't have enough food to do that. So there's no point. We'll never fill it up. I'm wondering if I could put two families in there that may help things. It's just odd. It's just odd that they're taking one flower every time. So yeah, it is what it is. We're so close to that. That up going up to fifty percent, forty with like flicking between forty-eight and forty-nine. And it's all because of food, but we need to have to go over so we can make more food. Oh, <laughs> very annoying. Let's see, all of these, are, all like Chicken Street should be should be saving our butts here, but it's not. I do like the fact that we've got a lot of cash coming in though. Settlement's looking good, isn't it? Settlement's looking good, like it's naturally progressed. And built up around the church, which is cool. The malt house, the malt house is still under construction, though. It's taking forever to build that thing. We did have enough tim. Well, we did have enough timber. Maybe not anymore. Maybe not anymore. I'm wondering where where that timber went. It probably went into rebuilding these houses, right? Logging camp, there's... Oh, hang on. Are these actually doing anything? I'm going to get them to chop down these trees again. I could actually assign them a... A... Um, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I've assigned it an ox just so we can get that timber coming back in, you know. But then we would like another. <laughs> we would like another ox. The thing is, I think we need a lot more oxes than what we've got. Which we can do. I just need to build some more stables, don't we? Or like a hitching, a couple of hitching posts. Like we've got like stables down here, haven't we? So. Yeah, I'll put one more one more down there. We are getting timber in now, I think. Yeah, we've got lots of timber coming in, which is absolutely fantastic. And we have got more people coming in. Yeah. Nice one. So we had like two new families move in, I think. Which is good. So hopefully they start doing stuff. We really want them... Yeah, look, here we go. I was going to say, we really want them to move into the vegetable garden one, which is this one. Which they have done. So they should start planting vegetables and growing vegetables, which will be pretty cool. Ah, this one has been built and I'm going to make this into a chicken coop. Again, just to try and up the amount of food we're getting. Berries are now back in season. The hitching post has just been built. It's going at a rapid pace now, so we'll get another rock. So we could upgrade to a small stable. I say that, yeah, we could do, but we'll eat into our planks. Uh, so, so we've got grain, we've got flour in there. Hey, look at that! They've got two market stalls in there now. Food variety still one percent though. What would be good, like I said would be getting that artisanal bakery get that bakery up and running I think that would be be decent this is making like one bread every like like million years <laughs> so you can't can't live on that okay food variety I think that was at an all-time high then it was three <laughs> percent it was three percent okay here we go look look it is going up slowly. So we've got berries, meat, bread, eggs, 
Come on, eggs. No, it's not. It's not happening, is it? <laughs> it's not happening. I was very hopeful then. I was very hopeful indeed. This is why we need to expand into this region because we'll be able to utilize the wild animals. We can make more farms. We can do uh, the berries as well. So something we need to need to look into next episode, I think. I'm wondering if we could do another family in the berry hut. <laughs> the berry hut. That would like increase the amount of berries. Right. Yeah, look. They I feel like we do need people transporting stuff back to uh back to our like granary more efficiently, so yeah, something we have to have to think about there. Saying that, some of these have now got a lot of food supply. I say a lot of food supply. This one's got, this one's got two food supply. Oh, uh oh, okay. This is not good. A band of raiders right here. Okay, right. This is what we we're preparing for. Uh, okay, I'm scared. Um, we need mercenaries. Going to get the green caps. Ninety coin uh, for each month of service. We have to do it. And the local thugs, we won't do the local thugs. Okay. These guys, okay. They, uh, we need to put them somewhere. Where are they, actually? They're over here. Okay, they need to come over here ASAP. Okay, let's bring them over. We'll get a, like a nice fortified line going. And I'm hoping they get here in time, which I don't think they will. Because those bandits or raiders were very close. Oh, wow. Okay, no, the raiders are already here. Damn. No. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Come on, guys. You can make your way over. Okay. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. Uh-oh. Why are you doing this? They've burnt the church down. They've built the malt house. We spent so long building that. Oh, no. This is absolute disaster. Okay, come on. We need to We need to rebuild. Oh, my God. This is absolute... This is... This is the worst thing that could have happened to us. I'm not going to lie. Just don't... Take out Chicken Street. Okay, Chicken Street has survived. All right, we're gonna have to do. A, we've got a lot of work to do next episode. Oh god, disaster! We were doing doing so well. It is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Where are? Our mercenaries. These guys here, right? Okay. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> that is a lot of damage. We are going to take out these guys. Full force. Go forward with your full force. Take them out. They deserve. They deserve everything that's coming to them. It's costing me 90 coins from the treasury every month. <laughs> I just think we got really unlucky there. Because those raiders appeared very close to our city. Like, if they if they had kind of appeared at anywhere else, we'd, we would have been fine. Go on, we must... Yeah, we're winning. Look, there's only 12 of them left. Nice. Okay, so we've won that one. That's really good. They've run away, but man, take them all out. No, okay, we, they, they've they've run away. We we have got a lot of work to do though now. <laughs> Rebuilding, like, even the vegetable garden had uh, just started to work. So, um, I think, yeah, 
I think we'll leave that there. So thank you for watching. Uh, the next episode should be on the screen now. Stay safe, have fun. I'll see you on the next one.